everyone. I hope you all are doing amazing today. So um, this is that time of the year where so many scrum masters are really not sure on how to handle the holiday situation. So I've been getting a lot of questions this week, which is why I am making this content so that we may reach as many people as possible. Um, so uh, scrum masters have been wondering how they would... Um, approach their sprints during this um, um, Christmas break period because this is a time of the year where so many people are taking time off holidays um, more than usual. So, of course, it's going to affect the sprint's capacity. So, team members, are, um, scrum masters are really not sure on how to handle this situation. So, I have my two cents to give out there. Um, this is really how I've handled this in the past. For those who don't know me, my name is Karen Formafong, your favorite Agile evangelist, and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you find yourself um, in a situation where your team members are taking one week or two weeks off during this period and you're really not sure how to go about it, I have two recommendations. If um, you are in a situation where only two, a couple of team members, you know, are taking time off and they are not taking so many days off, well, in this situation, check your capacity. Every sprint, you have to be checking your capacity, your sprint's capacity, and only take in work that your capacity can cover. It's really that simple. Measure your sprint capacity, your overall team capacity, and then plan, um, only take in work that, that uh, your team um, capacity can handle. If you are in a team that doesn't, um, that already know their average velocity, they're good with velocity, um, and they are that stable already. What I have done in the past is my teams will only estimate you know just off the bat the number of team members that will be out and the duration of their outing and then they will just lower their 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 velocity for that sprint just a little bit they'll lower their velocity and and that's it they are good to go now the concern with this is um you may also be in a team where most people are taking off and then it affects the ability for your team to achieve a done increment at the end of the sprint with the number of team members that will be left that are not taking time off. You see, because remember, the whole essence of Scrum is for you to deliver a usable, valuable, shippable outcome at the end of the sprint. So you also don't want to end up with a situation where you're only achieving output with the team members that will be left that are not taking time off. That is also an issue. So how would you handle a situation like this? All right. If you find yourself in this situation, the way I've done it in the past is, again, it's really all up to the team through conversation and collaboration with your team members. We're able to agree. We used to do a two-week sprint. So we agree to extend the duration of just that sprint. So instead of a two-week sprint, we were able to extend our sprint duration to a three-week sprint, you see. So we, we, we did that. We extended the duration to a three-week sprint, and then we calculated the overall team capacity, factoring in all the time offs and stuff like that. And with that, we were... So so it didn't... It wasn't really... Um, um, you, we couldn't really feel the impact of all of the time off because, you know, we just extended it to add another additional week to our normal sprints and we were still able to deliver a done increment. So that is really how I have handled the situation in the past. So overall, just to recap what I have said, well, if you, if your team members, um, just a few of them are taking time off and the, the the skills that are left are still able to give your team a done increment at the end of the sprint, then all you have to do is just check your capacity, your overall capacity for that sprint, and then plan based on the capacity available. 
so that you're not carrying over work or you're not you're not uh, planning for work and then hoping <laughs> to get help from those who definitely not be available so that is one um suggestion on the other hand if you are in a team where most of your team members are going to be out and it affects your ability to the, the team members that will be left will not be able to deliver a done increment at the end of the sprint because your 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 skills you know the cross functionality in your team has been affected okay in that situation the way i've handled it is we extended our sprints to three weeks instead of two week sprints and we it worked out just fine for us so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it um again I hope this content was helpful. As always, I'm curious to hear how other Agile practitioners have, have handled this situation or are planning to handle this situation as we have Christmas coming up, you know, in a couple of weeks from now and the new year. So leverage that comment section and post your thoughts on how you have handled this situation so that we all can continuously learn and grow in this beautiful Agile space. So um, if you're looking to learn more about our programs, what we offer, please um, go to the description box. You see our contact information, visit our website and learn more about our agile coaching programs, training programs. We offer different programs, you know, that will definitely be very helpful to you to jumpstart your agile career. That is if you are an aspiring agile practitioner or if you're already in the um, um, job market, you're just struggling on how to break even, we can definitely help you. We can sure help you. Reach out to us. Again, visit our website and go through our programs and pick the one that you think best meets your need. If you're looking to be guided on which one to pick, feel free to give us a call. We'll definitely be glad to, you know, provide some guidance. And um, don't also forget to like this content, share, and, you know, let your friends know, you know, that we have this platform and it's really a free open platform for people to continuously learn, you know, bring more people, especially minorities in the, in the corporate space. That's really our goal. So, um, please socialize our, our platform to express your support towards our message, our content, and our platform. Thank you so much. And I hope to talk to you another time. Bye.